can um, produce the state space form. Now, one thing I want to tell you about this file, this CAMGINI file, is when you're using Simulink, um, it defines by default the state variables. And in this case, we don't want the state variables because we are looking for those two outputs. So I would just um, eliminate these three statements in here so that we get just the, the ones that we want. Otherwise, it'll give us three outputs, which would be the, the three state variables. So right now here, we're going to say debug and say save file and run. Let's do that. So we got to go to the MATLAB window and see what it did. It actually said to me, look, these are the state variables. This is the A matrix. This is the B. This is the C and this is the D. Initialize. Initialize this. And um, so let's just. Um, so why did you comment out those, uh, those last three lines? Because um, by default, that, that file is made in such a way that if you don't specify the outputs, automatically gives you the state variables as outputs. That's the way it's set up for that file. But but since we wanted these two um, variables, we want to... Uh, comment those three lines to get our outputs, to get our two outputs? Our right. Other, other ways, those three will override that. Okay. That's the only reason I did that. So if, if, we, if we can now analyze what we did, what I would do is to, um, is to put this into the... Uh, but we'll accommodate this. You get the 15 minute mark? Yeah, okay. Let, so right now we have the the variables and the matrices and B and C and D. So we got we got the matrices. What I was trying to tell you is that in here those those matrices are known to these values, but let's analyze that in a moment, but it will break our 